is up guys, my name is Jack Gardner and welcome back to yet another free lesson on a Friday. This one is all about the Lydian mode and how you can start to achieve the sound. Before we go into the teaching part, like always, I just want to ask you guys to make sure that you do like, comment, subscribe, click that little bell for notifications. I make free lesson content every Friday and I'm also releasing my own music. I'm doing gear reviews, demos, etc, etc. There's tons of stuff there. I want to thank all of you again for the constant support on the new single. I believe that's at 20,000 views. That's blowing my mind. Um, yeah, I couldn't believe it. Same with Spotify as well. Thank you so, so much. If you do want to listen to it, I'll leave a link in the description. And of course, my debut release, Escapades, is coming on the 3rd of July. That's next Friday. So if you want to pre-order that or you want to pre-save it to Spotify, you can do so down below. I must point out as well, a few people have asked me about this and about other lessons. I have a ton of lesson packages over on my website. It's actually a brand new design of the website. I'll leave it somewhere over there, I guess. Um, so yeah, if you do want to support me in that way, of course you can. Um, I will be making a ton of new lesson packages over the coming weeks once the album's all out the way and I can take maybe a little bit of a break because it's been a bit relentless over the past couple of weeks, so yeah. So anyway, without further ado guys, thanks again. Let's dig into the teaching part of things. Okay, so the Lydian mode then, what is it? How can we use it? Again, like always, I like to think of modes or scales as basically interval structures or like formulas, if you like. So if you know a C major scale, you should be able to do this. Let me just quickly go over the intervals of a C major scale for you guys. So we're going to start down here. It will be root, major second, major third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, major sixth, major seven, and then it's back to the root again, obviously. Now, the only difference between this and the Lydian mode is one interval, and that is to do with the 4th or the 11th, it's the same thing, remember. We're just going to basically raise it a half step, so we get a sharp 4 or a sharp 11. So the interval structure should look like this now. We'd have root, major 2nd, major 3rd, sharp 4, augmented 4, whatever you want to call it, raised 4 or 11. Perfect fifth, major sixth, major seven, and then back to the root again. Now, a few of you may be like, okay, that's easy, that's straightforward, but how do I apply this? Well, really, I think it's important to always associate scales or modes with chord types. So, most people, when they see a major seven chord, if they've never done the Lydian mode before or never looked at the Lydian mode before, they might think that you just play a major scale over a major seven chord. Let's take, for example, this C major nine. Or, I don't know, let's take C major 13. I think the important thing to note with the Lydian mode, though, is that if you add an 11th on there, which would be, the, it would be a perfect fourth, essentially, this note. If you add that to a major seven chord, that sounds nasty. Listen to this. It just doesn't sit well. It feels like it wants to come back down to the major third to me, or it feels like it wants to go up to the sharp 11. So we get something like this. Now that sits beautifully like to my ears. Maybe we could add in the ninth as well, so you could get. Now, that, it's crazy, I mean, this, I should bring up a point here, actually, I remember one of my uni lecturers, Dominic Shermer, amazing dude um, and composer, him talking about how basically all of music is about relationships, and I would agree with this, it's, it's crazy how just two notes can have one relationship, so this, so this is just the root and the sharp four, and that can sound quite ugly, but add in another note, so there's an extra relationship there, and listen to this. Start to sound nicer, add in another note, this is just the ninth. And all of a sudden that doesn't sound ugly anymore, that sounds gorgeous. Now, here's the thing then, so you would technically play Lydian rather than Ionian over a major seven chord. But there are certain circumstances where this would not be advisable. So say like in a pop setting, if you've got a chord progression that goes one, six, four, five, you know, something like this. You just, I 
I mean, the Lydia mode isn't going to sound great. It'll sound fine over the first chord, that major 7, but it won't necessarily sound good over the 6, 4, 5. If you're, if you're one of these guys that just likes to think of one mode and go kind of thing, they don't belong. So, I think it's important to note that you need to really be using your ears for, for this kind of thing. It will work over any major 7 chord, especially in a static environment. It's going to sound gorgeous. So how would you go about actually learning the scale? And well, what I would do first, maybe, is take just a major pentatonic. So C major pentatonic. I'm sure everyone knows this shape. <laughs> But, so there's our C major pentatonic, so we're missing two notes to make that a full scale, aren't we? We could add in that sharp 11 to there, so where is it? Let's take a look. So we've got it there, there. So I'd try at first just phrasing with this kind of limited idea of the scale again, just so that you've got it. seven chord and see what you can come up with with that kind of sound you know you can play any of these kind of chords i think the one which i was using on the backing track was i was actually playing like an e minor triad of c which just makes it a c major seven and adding in this note which is just essentially the ninth of c so it's like a c major nine so yeah experiment with that first now if you're struggling to make that sound good here is a bit of a derivative way of doing this. I never usually encourage this, but for the sake of phrasing, if you can still visualize C around this, then you could try playing a B minor pentatonic. So that's a minor pentatonic built from the major seventh interval of the scale. So if we think here. So over that chord, that is gonna sound great, why? you need to think of it of the intervals of C. So you've got major seven, you have the major nine, you have the major third, we have the sharp 11 or the sharp four, that is what makes it Lydian. And then we have the major sixth, and then we have the major seven again. So we're actually avoiding the root, which you might think, oh, that's, that's a bit weird, I'm not used to doing it. No, actually with the Lydian mode, to my ears anyway, when you land on the root note, it just sounds a bit weird if you... There's the root note there. Doesn't really sit too well, does it? So, I mean, the voice in which I'm playing there is just essentially like a, a sharp 11 with maybe the 13 as well, because I've got the sit on major 6. And sharp 11. You could also think of that as a D over C. It's a D major triad. Which brings me on to another point. Maybe we can save that for another lesson. Talk about how triads would work in this situation. But yeah, I would encourage you, if you're first starting with this, then they are the two things I would do. So take a major pentatonic and try and add in that sharp 11th note. And then experiment with building a minor pentatonic from the major 7th degree. So in the case of C, that would be a B minor pentatonic. Or it's just a fret below the, the root of C, if you like. Guys, I hope that's all made sense. Thanks again for supporting me every week. Like I said at the beginning of this, most of these lessons actually come from the comments section and your suggestions, whether that's via email, Instagram, Facebook, or like I say, the comments down here. Thanks again, guys. If you do want to check out more things like this, there are a ton of free lessons in the past 14 weeks. I think this was episode 14. So you can go back and go through these. You can also support me if you want to by either buying my music or if you want to learn more in depth with me, you know, more licks, exercise based things, head over to my website and there are tons of lessons on there and there are going to be a ton of new ones coming out in just a few weeks. Before I forget guys, don't forget to pre-order Escapades or pre-save it on Spotify. The link will be down here. Thanks again for checking that out, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click that little bell for notifications. Until next time, cheers. Mm -hmm.